And logically, you expect that uh, the agencies that are expected to do the intervention do so. And so the National Labor Commission is to meet the UTAG as well as the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission on Wednesday, January 12, for negotiations, all intended to address the current on pass. The Labour Commission has invited both parties to uh, to meet them on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Yeah, so of course, um, UTAC member leadership w should know this, uh, that normally when, when there is an, uh, there's a strike of this nature, Labour Commission will invite both parties, and what would they do? They will listen to, to, to both parties, and then they would ask UTAC or the, the party that is on strike to call off their strike in order to return to the table, to the negotiation table, because according to the laws of this country, you cannot negotiate whilst you're on strike. So you will wonder uh, if UTAC, the leadership of UTAC, knowing this, and claiming they are fighting for the cause of their constituents, why would they go on strike? Because the strike is where you are locked out of any negotiation. So if you are interested in their, in their well-being, if you are interested in pursuing their interests, why would you go on strike when you know that the strike is a blockade to any, any negotiations? So it is not fair to government and it's not fair to students and parents out there. We concluded negotiations we, with UTAG on their conditions of service about three months ago, just three months ago, around October 6th or so. We concluded both parties, that's the representatives of UTAG and government representatives signed on that document after concluding the negotiations. And UTAG went away with possibly the best conditions, their best conditions of service to date. Now, it is really surprising to hear that they've come up with um, uh, a communique in which they are mentioning Western conditions of service. I mean, how do you um, sign an agreement on conditions of service which will make you worse? Who will ever agree to such a thing? But we signed uh, on conditions of service which made them better off than they've ever been in the history of the association and now they are coming to say they are going on a strike based on that. Well, so we have to ask the question whether UTAC um, will try to answer that call from the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission but also the Labour Commission and um, we do have uh, right here on Zoom the National Secretary for UTAC, Dr. Uh, Asantiano. Now um, you look at the letter from the National Labour Commission that states that it looks like UTAC didn't give prior notice, as you find in the Labour Act, that you should have done before embarking on the strike action. That's, uh, that means clearly UTAC is at fault. Uh, good evening to you and then good evening to your listeners. Uh, that statement is not correct. Uh, I personally wrote a letter on the 22nd of December and then we sent a copy and we use uh, three means of sending the uh, copy to the Labor, National Labor Commission via post, via email, mm. and also delivery. So that statement is not correct. Uh, uh, how are you going to meet um, the Fair Wages Commission and the Labor uh, Commission halfway for that meeting slated on Wednesday? Uh, it was supposed to be on Wednesday, but I think it has been rescheduled to Thursday. But as you know, Utah, we lead a, a number of uh, members, and we have 15 public universities. Mm. So normally in issues like this, we get back to them, and then based upon their feedback, we would also respond accordingly. Well, does it mean by Thursday, as you say, you may not get the right sort of approvals from your membership entirely? For you to make a decision whether you I want to attend? I didn't say that. I, I said, uh, you know, we work with 15 public universities. So as we represent them, it's always important that when we have such letters, we also relay the information to them. And then as one body, we will also respond accordingly. 
we, we went across some of the public universities. Students seem very much stranded. Of course, you, you are entitled to go and negotiate with your employer for your emolument to be well structured. But um, w w what do you say to the students? Um, they just reopen. Uh, they have new or fresh men. They need to register, etc. Any arrangements made available for them while you're absent in the lecture halls? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so as you know, we have only redrawn teaching. So as we are speaking, I have colleagues, youth tag members who are uh, hall masters, hall tutors, and so on, receiving the students, especially the freshers and continuing students. Mm. So uh, we would ask the students to remain calm and patient whilst uh, we negotiate with government, especially on our conditions of service. If this extends uh, beyond Friday, what does it mean? What are the implications? Uh, well, from our members, they have given us the mandate to embark on an indefinite strike. And the reason is uh, very simple. I heard you, the earlier introduction you made. But you see, uh, with uh, Labour Week, we've worked with uh, 15 public universities. And it has come to the point whereby we've had a lot of promises, but uh, it has not been fulfilled. Uh, you earlier on uh, played a submission from the National Labor Commission. Uh, I must put on record that what is going on is as a result of our basic salary not being attended to. There are minor interventions that government has done, but they usually tackle on the peripheral issues. Mm. And the university teacher is saying that the main issue at hand is our basic salary because that is what we are going to go on pension on. Right. And nobody wants to teach for 20 years, 30 years, and then you retire and then you have nothing to write home about. Well, well noted. Um, we'll get back to you as and when, but uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, Dr. Asari Asantiano is the secretary for the University Teachers Association of Ghana, but it also means that we will keep the subject ongoing, getting to monitor across all the universities we have in our country.